standing up at Science Hill, the uppermost part of campus, and are surrounded by our science and engineering library and various other academic buildings. And if you hear that light buzz in the background, that's because we also have our natural gas turbine engines located up here as well. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the Physical and Biological Sciences Division, or PBSci. A few of the majors included in this division are mathematics, physics, astrophysics, biology, human biology, molecular cell developmental biology, and marine biology. <laughs> so there's a lot of different biology variations that we have, and uh, another really great, awesome place to study for marine biology is our UCSC Long Marine Labs Coastal Science Campus. In addition to these buildings, we also have an off-campus site where students can study about marine life. It is on a 22,000 square foot facility and about 75% of that is natural preserved landscape. In addition to that, about opportunities for students to partake in research internships and undergraduate research opportunities. There is also a observatory that is duly managed by UC Santa Cruz as well as Caltech, the Lick Observatory in San Jose as well as the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. I actually know a professor in astronomy who did research at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii, who taught my lower level astronomy class for a general education requirement. And I actually went on a field trip to the San Jose Lick Observatory during my first year as a Crown College field trip. Um, you can also minor in various subjects in the PB side division as well. Um, if you're interested in human biology, that is our pre-med track. And a really great aspect of this major is that, is that they require medical Spanish. So students uh, hoping to work and live in California um, will have this sort of resume booster on their application. Another great aspect about studying marine biology, uh, UCSC alum Julie Packard, who graduated from Crown College in 1984 with a bachelor's in marine biology, actually founded and is now the current director of the Monterey Bay Aquarium located in Monterey, California. And UC Santa Cruz students can access and visit the aquarium for free uh, once during fall quarter every school year. The Jack Baskin School of Engineering is located just up some stairs and across the street from where we're standing. And a few of the majors that are part of the Jack Baskin School of Engineering called that because it is our only division which receives both public and private funding. Involves uh, majors such as computer science, which is our first most popular major, as well as computer engineering, robotics engineering, which we are the first UC to have that major and electrical engineering, to name a few. You don't have to be in the School of Engineering to participate in various undergraduate opportunities. And about 70% of our undergraduates in the School of Engineering do participate in some sort of research or internship opportunity before graduating. We are the closest UC to the Silicon Valley, so many of our students do go on to work for larger tech companies, such as Google and Amazon, located in the Bay Area. Speaking of Amazon, you may have heard of a small website called Amazon.com. Back when it was just books, alumni Shell Caffin, who was working in software engineering, although we didn't have that major at the time, went on to create the first Amazon.com website and worked closely with Jeff Bezos at the time. Additionally, there are various other undergraduate opportunities for students, and you don't have to be part of the School of Engineering to partake in these. Uh, we have opportunities such as Cruise Hacks, which is one of our hackathons, where students spend about a weekend working with each other, coding various programs, and competing in a friendly way in order to practice their coding skills and learn various new skills. Another great way that students can get involved is through clubs such as the Society for Women in Engineering, as well as the UC Genomics Hub, which is headed by uh, bioinformatics professor David Hausler, who was actually part of the graduate student program that worked on the Human Genome Project. If you haven't heard of the Human Genome Project, it was essentially a coding research project in the early 2000s that helped to decode the human genome and various other organisms. In addition to humans, they also coded the genome for flies and monkeys. And the great aspect about this research was that because UC Santa Cruz is a publicly funded institution, they were able to make that information available to the public for free and the rest of the world, rather than a private company being able to sell that information. 
And to this day, students and faculty are working together to compile more information for medical research. After this, we'll be headed over to McHenry Library to talk a little bit more about libraries and our last academic division, the arts.